Hello, I'm uh, Vic Dar, I'm the ENT consultant here at East Kent. Um, and uh, some people have been talking to me about uh, swabbing in the nose and oropharynx. As an ENT surgeon, I thought it'd be worthwhile giving a little video of uh, what's the best technique. And we know that swabbing uh, sensitivity is only at 70%. So anything we can do to improve that as much as possible would be great. And there are some techniques of just putting in the nose and pushing towards the eye. We don't really want to be doing that. We want to get to the nasopharynx. So first of all, some anatomy. So the nasopharynx is the area at the back of the nose. It's about seven centimeters from the front of the nose, so much further than normally we'd feel comfortable putting something into the nose. And the oropharynx, which is right at the back of uh, the mouth, uh, near the tonsil area. So this is a standard dry swab. There's a little mark at about seven centimeters back to guide you about how far to push in the nose. But first of all, we're gonna use it in the mouth. And in some places, you would have two swabs, one for the mouth and one for the nose, but I don't want to waste any. So first of all, I want to go for the oropharynx. And I think a good technique is to use a lion's roar. Oh, and it just drops the tongue so we can really get back in there, like this. Oh. Uh, and a little bit of pill rolling in the nose and the mouth helps a little too. And now for the nose, see which one's more open. The right seems to be more open. I'm going to use my right hand for the right nose so I can aim a little bit downwards and a little bit inwards so I don't get caught up on the side wall anatomy of the nose. And I'm going to push all the way back to seven centimeters. Bit uncomfortable, nice pill rolling, get lots of secretions and come out. There we have it. I hope that's helpful.